Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue to prepare for Pentecost, let us ask Jesus in this Mass to fill us with the Holy Spirit so that we may always be guided by His gifts so that we may always be led closer to the Father. Let us now call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the power of the Holy Spirit come to us, we pray, O Lord, that we may keep your will faithfully in mind and express it in a devout way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul traveled through the interior of the country and down to Ephesus, where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They answered him, 
we have never even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. He said, How were you baptized? They replied, With the baptism of John. Paul then said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him, that is, in Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in tongues and prophesied. Altogether, there were about twelve men. He entered the synagogue and for three months debated boldly with persuasive arguments about the kingdom of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. God arises, his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so are they driven, as wax melts before the fire. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. But the just rejoice and exult before God. They are glad and rejoice. Sing to God, chant praise to his name, whose name is the Lord. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. The father of orphans and the defender of widows is God in his holy dwelling. God gives a home to the forsaken. He leads forth prisoners to prosperity. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his, the disciples said to Jesus, Now you are talking plainly and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived when each of you will be scattered to his own home and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage, I have conquered the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, in our first reading today, 
St. Paul, who is now in Ephesus, met a group of believers and Paul asked them a significant question. Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? And their answer was surprising. They said, We have never even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, what made Paul ask that question? By now, St. Paul, who is already in his third and final missionary journey, had already visited and established many communities. Paul was already familiar with the work of the Holy Spirit. Paul had already seen with his own eyes the gifts of the Holy Spirit and the fruits of the Holy Spirit at work in people's lives and in communities. Kilalang kilala na niya ang pagkilos ng Espiritu Santo. Nararamdaman na niya kung paanong gumalaw ang Espiritu Santo sa isang sambayanan, sa isang komunidad, at sa buhay ng mga tao. That made him very quick to sense that in this group of believers, something is lacking. They lack the Holy Spirit. And so that made him ask them, did you already receive the Holy Spirit? And when they said that they do not know the Holy Spirit, then immediately Paul laid his hands on them and baptized them, and they were filled with the Holy Spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, if St. Paul were to visit us today, would he also sense that there is something lacking in our lives? Would Paul sense the presence of the Holy Spirit among us? Or would he sense that we do not possess the Holy Spirit, that the Holy Spirit is lacking in our communities, in our churches, in our society, in our families. Pwede pa lang nag naniniwala, pero hindi na pupuspos ng Espiritu Santo. In our Gospel today, Jesus mentions some of the gifts and fruits of the Holy Spirit. Courage, understanding, and peace. If we possess the Holy Spirit, we would understand the words of Jesus. If we possess the Holy Spirit, we would have courage to witness to Jesus. If we possess the Holy Spirit, we would be always at peace even in the midst of persecution and suffering. And so if there is failure to understand the Holy to understand the words of Jesus, kung hindi natin inuunawa at iniintindi ang mga turo at aral ni Jesus, wala pa sa atin ang Espiritu Santo. Kung tayo'y duwag sa pagpapahayag natin tungkol kay Jesus, kung tayo'y duwag sa ating pagsasabuhay, sa ating pananampalataya, kung tayo'y natatakot na usigin, pagtawanan, pahirapan, dahil nagsasalita tayo ng katotohanan tungkol kay Jesus, wala pa sa atin ang Espiritu Santo. Kung tayo'y palaging nababagabag, when we are not 
at peace. Then the Holy Spirit, who is peace, is not yet within us. My dear brothers and sisters, as we prepare for Pentecost Sunday, as we prepare for the coming of the Holy Spirit, let us continue to ask the Father to send us the Holy Spirit through Jesus, the Holy Spirit that we have already received when we were baptized and when we were confirmed. Let us ask the Holy Spirit to help us to understand the teachings of Jesus, to believe in Jesus, to courageously witness to Jesus, and to manifest Jesus, the presence of Jesus, the power of Jesus, through our lives. Having overcome the world, Jesus sent the Spirit to help us in our trials and in our mission to witness to Him. Let us pray for strength and ask His aid in our needs. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer persecution may have courage to be faithful to their convictions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are tempted may overcome their weaknesses through the grace of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who consecrate their work, profession, and business to Christ may receive the strength to fulfill their duties in a Christian manner. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer, that the sick and those who are ill may experience the healing touch of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer, that the faithful departed may enjoy the radiant dawn of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray in silence for our own petitions. Let us also pray for the people who requested our prayers and for the intentions offered in this Mass. Almighty Father, you can do all things. Grant that we may use your power in all that we do for your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. May this unblemished sacrifice purify us, O Lord, and impart to our minds the force of grace from on high 
Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray the fourth day of our novena to the Holy Spirit, and let us ask for the gift of knowledge. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful. And kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created. And you shall renew the face of the earth. According to the scriptures, true knowledge can only be acquired by recognizing the loving call of God and by responding with love to his divine plan. St. John's Gospel tells us, This is eternal life, that they should know you, the only true God, and the one whom you sent, Jesus Christ. Knowledge is centered entirely on the supreme mystery of Christ and his dying and rising, 
which unlock the meaning of every human life and of all history. As a gift of the Holy Spirit, knowledge gives us certainty that all things are ordered to God in Christ. This knowledge is revealed on every page of Scripture, is deepened by the Church's living tradition, and is celebrated in the liturgy. By a new Pentecost in our time, may the Holy Spirit confirm in us a sure knowledge of the truths of faith. Let us pray. Father, Father we, we ask, ask you, you to, to send, send the Holy Spirit, Spirit upon our, our minds and, and hearts, so that, so that the, the gift, gift of knowledge which is ours by baptism and confirmation may be purified and deepened. May the darkness of our sins be overcome by the splendor of knowing you, the only true God, and the one whom you have sent, Jesus Christ, filled with the knowledge imparted by the Holy Spirit, May we radiate light for the salvation of the world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mary, blessed with knowledge, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah.